For this project, I'm using regular Red Heart Super Saver. It's a worsted weight four ply acrylic. And I'm using a size I, 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And you want to start off with a chain of 32. Then what I'm going to do, and do is I'm going to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. And then I'm going to go ahead and put one single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. Just like that. All the way to the end. Okay, I'm coming to the end after putting one single crochet in every stitch. And on the very last stitch, I'm going to put three single crochets on it. So three in the same stitch here at the end. And now I'm just going to start working on the, I'm just going to turn my chain. And I'm going to start working on this side of the chain. And I'm just going to, here's where I put my three. So I'm going to start on the first one with one single crochet and then I'm going to put one single crochet in every stitch along this side of the chain until I get to the other side okay when you make it down to the end on this side when you come to your last single crochet you want to put three single crochets in it to match the other side And then what you want to do is come over, just come back around to your first single crochet and slip stitch. Now what I'm going to do is chain three, and that chain three is going to count as a double crochet. Now I'm going to go back into the same stitch and put. three double crochets on it. And then I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to go back in the same stitch again and put three more. Like that. So it's three doubles, chain two, and three more doubles. I'm going to skip one stitch and in the next one I'm going to do the same thing. Three doubles. Chain two. And then three more doubles. skip one stitch and in the next one we're going to do the same and that's going to be the repeat all the way around three doubles chain two three more doubles skip one stitch. Sometimes you're going to pull this back, but skip that one. And then the next one, three doubles, chain two, and three more doubles. So I'm going to repeat this all the way around my piece. All the way around. And back around this side. And then back to my beginning. Okay, when you make it back around, it's going to be kind of curly, and that's okay. Just go ahead. I got one stitch left, so I'm just going to skip it. And slip stitch it to my first, or the top of my chain three. If you happen to 
have an extra stitch here, it's okay. I mean, if, if it didn't come out exactly to have one left, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Just finish it out because you're not going to be able to tell it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch over here to this chain 2 space. So I'm going to slip stitch in the next stitch. I slip stitch again. And then one more time and I'll be in the chain 2 space. Okay. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing that I just did. And I'm going to do it in every one of these chain 2 spaces. So I'm going to chain 3. I'll go back in and do two more double crochets. That way, counting that chain three, it'll be a total of three. I'm going to chain two. I'm going to go back in the same space and put three more. So it's three doubles, chain two, three doubles. And I'm going to jump over here to the next chain 2 space. Skip all this right here. And I'm only working in the chain 2 space. I'm going to go in and do the same thing. Three doubles. Chain 2. Three more doubles. Jump on over to the next chain two space and do it again. Three doubles. Chain two and three more doubles. And I want to repeat this in every one of the chain two spaces all the way back around to all the way around to the beginning. Okay, I'm coming back around here to my beginning again and I'm just going to slip stitch into my first chain three. Now again, I know it's looking kind of funny, but it'll straighten out later on when we start to decrease it. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch over to this chain 2 space again and I'm going to repeat the row that I just did. So slip stitch on over to it. Chain 3. Go back in and do two more doubles. Count that chain 3. That'll be three doubles. Chain 2. Three more doubles. Jump over to the next chain 2 space and do it again. Three doubles. Chain 2. And three more doubles. I'm going to repeat that just like we did before in every one of the chain two spaces. Okay, I made it back around again. So that was, this is, I'm working on, this is my third row that I've done. So I'm going to slip stitch again in the beginning chain three, and then I, again I'm going to slip stitch over to the chain spot. And I'm going to slip stitch into it. Now this time around I'm going to do a chain three. Go back in and do another double crochet. Chain two. And then go back in and do two more doubles. So I'm basically doing the same thing that we just did. I'm just taking off a double crochet on each side. And this is, you'll start to notice, 
once you do some rounds of this that the it'll start coming up a little bit and because right now it kind of just can't really tell it's going to be a, a bag right now but it will be so i'm just going to jump over here to the next space and put two double crochets chain two and two more doubles and now this is going to be the repeat for a few more rows I'm just going to keep doing some rows of this and I don't know how many rows I'm going to do so I'm going to keep working doing these ro the rows of the two double crochet chain two and two more doubles and I'll let you know how many rows of this that I do Okay, I'm coming around again, and I did four rows of the two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So now I'm just going to slip stitch into the chain three, slip stitch over to my chain space. And now this time I'm just going to do regular V stitches. So I'm going to start with a chain four, which counts as a double crochet and a chain one and go back in and do another double like that and that's what I'm going to do on every chain space double crochet chain one double crochet jump over to the next double crochet chain one double crochet Double crochet, chain one. So I'm going to do that in every chain space, just like we've been doing. And I'm going to do several rows of just the V stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, and I'll let you know how many rows I do in a second. Just want to show you real quick when you come around after you do you're doing your rows of just the regular V stitch this is how you end it you have your chain four that you had in the beginning you just slip stitch into the chain three of the chain four like that and then you'll slip stitch over here into this space like that and then to start again you just chain four and go back into the same stitch double crochet like that and then okay I'm coming around again and I've done four rows of just the regular V stitches I'm going to do one row of V stitch decreases to make the top a little bit smaller so I'm going to go ahead and just start out by slip stitching into my first spot and then doing a V stitch by chaining four and then double crocheting again so what I'm going to do is five v-stitches in a row and then a v-stitch decrease so this will be one I'm going to go to my next one and do a v-stitch there's two my next one three four and five so I did five V stitches in a row now I'm going to take these next two V stitches and I'm going to make them into one so I'm going to go ahead and double crochet into the next spot and chain one. Now instead of going back in this V stitch and doing another double crochet like we normally would, I'm going to do my double crochet in this V stitch and I'm going to try to keep it as tight as I can. Like that. So I made the V stitch spot but I made it with two there. 
So now I'm going to do five V stitches in a row again. There's one. Two. Five here. Now I'll show you the decrease again. Five in a row. Now I'm going to be working in these next two decreases. I'm going to go in double crochet, chain one, jump over to the next V stitch and try to keep it as tight as I can doing my double over there. Like that. Just try to keep it as tight as you can so there's not too big of a spot in between them. So it's not real noticeable. And now I'm just going to do my five decreases in a row again. Or five uh, V stitches in a row again. And then my V stitch decrease. And I'm just going to repeat that pattern back to the beginning. Okay, I made it around after that row of V stitch decreases. And it wasn't, it didn't come out even for me. I think I had, I did a V-stitch decrease and then I had four left and I just finished them out with one decrease in each stitch. So if it doesn't, if you follow me along, you should have the same amount. But if you happen to start with another number, it doesn't have to come out equal, it's okay. Now again, I'm just gonna slip stitch into my, the, chain, the third spot of that chain four and slip stitch over into the V-stitch space and chain four again and now I'm going to do another row of one V-stitch in every stitch so no more decreases no more V-stitch decreases this round I'm just gonna go around put in one V-stitch in every chain one space And you can see right here is my V-stitch decrease from the previous round. You just go in it like you would a regular decrease. And V-stitch on top of it. And then come over back to the... If you look closely, you can see it where we took these two and put them in the one. But you want to make sure you're not going in these spaces beside it because those aren't chain one spaces go into the next V stitches beside them. Otherwise if you go into them spaces it's not it's not going to decrease your bag any. So I'm just going to continue around running one V stitch and every V stitch back to the beginning. Okay I made it back around after that one row I did they had one V stitch in every stitch and I slip stitched into my uh, third chain in my chain four and now I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna go into the v-stitch and single crochet I'm gonna single crochet in every stitch around and then I'm gonna go into that double crochet single crochet this double crochet single crochet right in right through the space here single Make sure I go through the space. So I'm just going to go around single crocheting in every stitch and making sure that we're going through that, counting that chain one space as a stitch. So I'm just going to do that all the way around. Okay, I made it around after that one row of single crochet. And I slip stitched into my beginning chain one and I'm going to cut off, tie off and you can hide this tail. I'm going to hide mine later. Okay, now you want to get your bag laid out flat. 
and you're going to need four stitch markers. And what you want to do is pick up the corner here. Make sure your bag's laid out flat how you want it to look. And start in the corner. And count over. Eight stitches. And put a stitch marker. And now I'm going to do the same on this side from the corner. Eight stitches. And then I want to do that over here. So you should have 16 in between, 16 stitches in between your stitch markers. Like that. Those look pretty good. Okay. And I'm going to start with my almost with the slip knot. And I'm going to work on this side first. So I'm going to go into the stitch with the stitch marker. Go through that slip knot that's on my hook. I can take this out now. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go back into the same stitch, single crochet. And now I'm going to put one single crochet in every stitch until I get to my stitch, stitch marker over here. We're just working on this side now, and we'll do this side next. Okay, single crochet into the stitch with the stitch marker. And you can move it. Don't need that anymore. Now I'm going to chain one and turn my work. Now this chain one doesn't count as anything at all. So when we work, now we're going to be going into the very first stitch. What I'm going to do is decrease over these, single crochet decrease over this, these, uh, this, these stitches. So I'm going to go into the very first one, drop a loop, and then I'm going to go in the next one, drop a loop, yarn over, and go through all three loops on my hook. And that's a single crochet decrease. Now I'm going to go across again, putting one single crochet in every stitch, until I get to the last two stitches and I'll single crochet decrease over the last two okay I'm at my last two here so I'm going to go in drop a loop go in the next one drop a loop yarn over and go through all three then I'll chain one and turn and I'm going to keep repeating this row that we just did so I'm going to single crochet decrease over the two very first stitches. And now I'm going to work across putting one single crochet in every stitch until I get to the last two stitches.
and I'll single crochet, decrease over them. And then I'll do my decrease. Chain one and turn. And again, so I'm just going to keep repeating this row, decreasing over the first and last stitches. until I get this to be a little bit smaller decrease chain one and turn you can tell that it's getting smaller now as we go decrease over the first stitches one single crochet across until they get to the last two and then I decrease chain one turn again Chain one and turn. I'm going to decrease, do this one more time. And after this round, I should have four stitches left. Decrease over these last two. And there's four. So now I'm just going to keep working, doing one single, I'm going to chain one and turn. And I'm going to keep working one single crochet in every stitch. And this is going to be kind of the handle part. So I just want to do this until I get my handle a little longer. Chain one, turn. Chain one, turn. Okay, I went ahead and did 25 rows of the four single crochet for the handles. And you, you can always do more if you want, however many you want. But then I tied it off, and I did this whole exact same thing over on the other side where we had our stitch markers. And then I tied off here. And now what we're going to do is just sew the handles together at the top. And if you want to do more than that, more than them, 25 rows, it's on each side that's up to you um but i'm just going to use a yarn needle and sew it together take it and i have my yarn needle and just want to make sure they're not twisted and i'm just gonna sew them together neatly the best that I, best that i can just Kind of like that, and then I'm just going to go ahead and hide my tail. Okay, now I'm going to put a strap here. So I'm going to count over from a corner stitch here over 10 stitches. And that's where I'm going to start. So I'm going to go in and chain one. I'm going to go back in the same stitch and single crochet. 
and I'm going to single crochet again in the next five stitches. So counting that first one we did, we'll have a total of six. So six total. And now I'm just going to be working again rows of single crochet. Chain one and turn. Single crochet, one single crochet, and every stitch across. And I'm just going to keep doing rows until I get my strap as long as I want to make it go over the front because I have this buckle here that I'm going to put on. So I'm going to go ahead and get these these rows done and I'll let you know how many total rows I do. Okay, I did 15 rows for the strap. Now I'm going to sew on the buckle. I got this buckle off an old bag that I found at uh, the auction, I think, or a resale shop. Not sure. I got a bunch of old bags laying around and I just used parts off of them. So I'm just gonna, this one, I'm gonna have to use, sew it on. You just find your center. I just kind of, I'm gonna kind of eyeball it. And I'm just gonna use a piece of yarn in my yarn needle. And just sew it around this bar here until it's on pretty tight. I'm just going to keep going around. Just like this. Make sure I get my piece in the center. I'm just going to jump on the other side of that buckle piece and continue until I get to the end. I got my buckle sewn on and there's one more thing I'm going to do to finish it off. So I'm going to go around the whole top piece here and the handles and the strap with a single crochet to clean it up. So I'm just going to flip it over and I'm just going to start in the back here. Probably right here in the corner. So I'm going to go in and chain one and I'm going to go back through that same stitch I started in single crochet. Now I'm going to work across putting one single crochet in every stitch across the back here and when I get to my strap here I'm going to go down the side with single crochet, the top, and back up the side. So I'm just going to go one single crochet in every stitch of the, of the strap.
across the front of the strap. Probably put two up in the corner here to make it lay out a little bit better. I mean, that's not necessary, but I think it would lay better if I did that. And two in this corner. And then back up this side of the strap. Okay, and then I'm just going to start working again, across here, And then one single crochet in every stitch up this. All the way, one single crochet around my handle, all the way back down here into back to where I started. And then I'll just slip stitch into the my first single crochet. And then what I'll do is I'll flip it over and I'll start in the front. And I'll go around the whole front with one row of single crochet around this part and I'll around that other side of the handle and back around. Okay, I finished. I went around with the single crochet around both sides of the handle and that's all I'm going to do. Um, I will, you will probably need a liner for this bag and I'll probably line mine but I'm going to do that off camera because I already have, I have a tutorial on my YouTube channel how to line a bag and it's kind of time, time consuming so I'm going to go ahead and do it off camera but that's it, and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial, and I hope you were able to follow along okay. Um, don't forget to come check out my Facebook page. If you make this or anything else, you can always post a picture on, the, on my Facebook page. I'll put a link below in the description box. And until next time, have a good day.